Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so let's make a heart-healthy breakfast that you can make the day before to serve to your loved ones. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel. I'm so happy you're here because that means that you care about your health and one of the best ways to take care of yourself is to be mindful of what you eat. Today, we're going to be making Happy Heart Baked Muesli Bars. For this recipe, you can either use crushed pineapple or frozen raspberries. Begin by straining the fruit you're using by placing it into a fine sieve over a bowl to catch the juice. In a glass measuring cup, add in one and one half of a cup of your preferred nut, seed, or oat milk. And you can substitute some of the milk with the strained pineapple or raspberry juice for a stronger fruit flavor. Add in one tablespoon of ground flax seed and whisk together well. Set it aside. Next, in a large mixing bowl, add in one quarter cup of oat flour. And it's really simple to make your own. Just add in oats to your food processor and process them up until it forms a flour-like consistency. You'd probably need about one third of a cup to get one quarter cup of flour. Next, we have one teaspoon of baking powder. For our spices, I have one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, and one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Whisk together your dry ingredients. Now we're ready to add two and a half cups of your favorite gluten-free muesli. So muesli is usually made out of oats and then maybe some dried fruits and seeds. This one has oats and raisins, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds mostly in here with a little bit of sliced almonds. But get your favorite combination here. One of my favorite ingredients, next I have one half of a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. Toss together and then pour in your milk mixture, along with your strained pineapple or raspberries. Stir together again. And now we're ready to add in one half of a cup of your favorite chopped nuts. I'm using walnuts, along with one third of a cup of chopped up dates for a little bit of sweetness. Gently toss together. And then in an eight by eight glass pan, press in your oat mixture. Bake for about 40 minutes in your 400 degree preheated oven until your oats begin to slightly brown on top. It's time to give these muesli bars a taste. I put just a little bit of coconut cream on top with a little bit of raspberry just to up the flavor a little bit. Let's give it a taste. That, my friends, is perfect. All of the flavors blend so nicely together. There's just a little bit of that raspberry flavor, a little bit of date, a little bit of coconut. Has a nice chew to it with the oats. This is so delicious. I hope you give this one a try. Make it for your loved ones. They will not be disappointed. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, make healthy choices this week, not only for yourself, but for those you love. I'll see you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.